Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. Do you need to create an interactive bubble menu, circle, floating menu on your WordPress website? You can design unique circle navigation layouts using this plugin with additional user information for the user. This is a very creative widget from the Plus add-ons for Elementor. You have lots of styles and animations to choose from. I will teach you step by step how to use this widget, allowing to display your call to action menu with amazing style to your audience. You can create unlimited amount of menus like this. You can add custom images to display on the bottoms instead of icons. I am Natalie from Sites with Natalie and I make WordPress tutorials to help you all your online business. Make sure you subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out my upcoming videos. If you're ready, let's dive in. The first thing you need to do is to make sure you have this widget enabled on your plus add-on settings panel. So click on the plus setting, welcome panel, plus widgets and use the search box. As you can see it's already activated and then you just need to click save. Let's open up the page you want to showcase this widget. This is my page edit with Elementor. I have previously prepared this demo page for you. I'm using the new Elementor Flexbox container and I have added the circle menu from the plus add-on. You can set the element width, you go to the dance tab, then width, you can set here to 100% width or inline or a custom one. The icon layout could be set as a circle or straight. You can determine the menu direction to top, right, bottom and left. You can switch over to any of these options. Just choose the best option for you. Then you have the menu list. You can remove any of the menu list items just by clicking on the class button. Alternatively, you can duplicate each menu list, each menu item by clicking on the duplicate icon. In addition, you can bring up dynamically, for example, to have a custom text with the help of the advanced custom fields plugin. And here I've used images as icons. Inside the menu item, you can add a tooltip name. For instance, I insert skills. You can add uh, the link type, URL, email, phone or no link you insert here. You can insert dynamically. You can set here the background type. I have defined mine to be this color on overstate as well. You can also control the tooltip text rotation. Let's put here if it makes no sense. The arrow style could be left, right, top, bottom and none. You have a tons of options to customize, which is very nice. Under the toggle icon, you select the icon or a custom image using this option. You select here, icon or image. You determine three styles, style one, two and three. By default, it will bring up the style number three, but you can alternatively display any of the two extra options. Under the icon position, it displays an absolute position, but you can set instead to a fixed position based on your own needs. I will show you in a minute more details about this. You can also set the icon position and you can also set here by devices, desktop, tablets or mobile. For instance, for mobile, you insert here the responsive values in left, right, top and bottom. The extra options let you set a multitude of options. The circle radius of the menu at the moment is 70. Let's put 20. You also can set here the menu open speed and the icon transition mode. 
you can set is a linear easy in easy out I like to use the busy bezier so the style tab is to custom is to customize the appearance of all the circle menu widget components let's quickly go over each of these options you can configure here the icon size the icon width the image if you use an image the icon border if you want to hide it finally you have an option to display an in and out animation effects on scroll with options to set its delay and its duration. You have a lot of options to decide on to display by using this widget. Just click animation and be sure to pick up the one you like the most. They are so cool! I have prepared some examples for you. I have already set this hero section with this circle menu to tell my users about this this facility, this hotel facility. So let's create this from scratch for you using the Elementor Navigator. Delete it. Do a quick search for circle menu with the bottom icon layout. The position is absolute. Let's delete this. Let's duplicate three times. Air temperature. You you need to decide on which animations you want to use because there are so many. I have set the in and out icon animations, the gap between items. I also decided to change the position just like that. Let's convert now this layout into a circle layout. So head over to the content tab and then here turn change to circle and the icon direction to the bottom with the icon direction set to the left super easy so that's it for today you can use my affiliate link down below if you want to to purchase a license from the plus add-ons for elementor i may receive a small commission without costing extra money for you check the plus add-ons website to get more detailed information Thank you so much for watching, subscribe, share to your friends, like the video, it really helps me so I can reach a larger audience, have a nice day wherever you are.